You can do shoes, you can do hats, you can do it all. A craftsman building clothing from the ground up, especially someone like Al, who's almost a Renaissance craftsman, and you know, from every stitch, from your feet to your tie to your hat, he's able to put together and see that complete picture. In a modern world where everything is compartmentalized and all manufacture is is piecework essentially, even if it's fine. You know, this is just an unusual experience. Oh, what a change this all around. Whereas every time uh, Rosh Hashanah comes here, she comes in for a hat. Yeah. She goes, how much is this? And how much is in your pocket? I got five dollars. That's five people. <laughs> She's a neighborhood gem. We do tend to specialize in taking vintage garments and, and making them work with the client, whether it's uh, uh, doing something like that or relining it or taking a piece of uh, a garment that was made from the 40s, 50s and cutting it down or refitting it to today's body is something that we do. The roots of Al's attire is really in footwear. Um, I started making shoes uh, um, right out of high school. Most of the work I did um, back then was for uh, performers and the theaters in town. Um, a lot of uh, the styles that we do um, reflect that, like these button shoes. These are all working buttons. And uh, you re it requires um, a button hook to get these on and if you notice each and every one of these button holes are hand stitched. Uh, he was just in recently and um, a famous artist uh, painted this um, image of um, Miles Davis on a silk um, piece of cloth uh, St. Carlos dropped this off uh, about a week ago and uh, basically his words were, Al, you know what to do with this. When you stick in the city long enough, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to outfit everyone.